What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another awesome Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing everything you need to know about the brand new August update and the fireworks show. We're going to show you guys exactly how to get all 16 items and it's going to be awesome. Thanks so much for coming on board. If you guys have not already subscribed for the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content, make sure you guys are on board with it. We are at currently 793,000 subscribers. I would love it if you guys would help us reach 1 million by the end of 2020. Anyway, so our playlist is continuously growing if you guys take a look at it over here we did some gulliver items we did the mermaid items before and we did all sea creatures but now that there's an august update we're gonna be hitting the rest of these tutorials very hard and i want you guys there every step of the way so here we go this video is going to be broken down into four different parts it's gonna be super simple we're gonna show you guys how to access the update we'll then show you guys exactly how to make the fireworks happen and how to customize them we'll give you a showcase of all 16 items and how to get them and then We'll set off some fireworks. It's going to be really cool. Thanks for watching. All right, so what do you have to do in order to access the update? It's very simple. All you have to do is press the home button, uh, go over to Animal Crossing, press the plus button right over here, click on software update, and then click on via the internet. Once you do so, you'll be updated to version 1.4.0 as seen on screen over here. Very simple. So as long as you're connected to the internet, you're all good to go with that one. All right, so when you do so, Isabel will say, hey, we're gonna do something around seven o'clock, whatever the in-game time is. And that's when you'll be able to see all the fireworks. As you can see over here, the fireworks are just gonna be going on all throughout the night. And they're actually kind of cool because if you see some of them, they'll be able to like be exactly as all of your custom designs, provided that you talk to Isabel about it. Now, I've made a whole bunch of town flags for members, and that's why we've got a whole bunch of weird things over here. But, I mean, we've got the Abdallah Pogger's face. We've got a picture of Enzo, Milo, Rocco, and Gizmo. We've got a whole bunch of cool designs. And what you can do with those designs is actually talk to Isabel over here. So talk to her first, and then she'll give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of flavor text. She'll give you a parting gift, which is going to be one of the little bobbers, and we'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, I've got the bulb bobber, which is really cute. I like that one. But anyway, once you're done talking to her, talk to her again, and then you can go through and say, I've got a firework idea. Once you do that, you can go through and choose 10 dis different custom whatever patterns you have, and then it'll just go in that kind of order whenever you do it. So I did something along the lines of showing all the cats, a uh, little bit of Rocco, a little bit of Gizmo, we did Mr. Assetti, fish bait, uh, we did Abdallah Crown, we did a little baby's ice cream as well. So there's a, whatever kind of designs you have in your game, you can make them into fireworks, and it takes a little bit of time for them to show up. Anyway, press the plus button, and then she's really just gonna say, hey, I'll have it in time, and then boom, we'll go from there. So if you take a look up, you'll be able to see there's a picture of Milo uh, right over there. I think that was Gizmo. No, that's Gizmo right over there. Uh, you can see Mr. Rossetti in the back. You'll also see a fish bait. You'll just see my face in like the next couple seconds here. Oh, it was on the other side. Um, but anyway, and you can see the little baby's ice cream thing. So like that's kind of what you want to do. Just kind of go over here and see the awesome fireworks. It's kind of gimmicky. You can invite your friends over. Everyone can have a good time with it, all right? So that's what the fireworks look like. Feel free to find a spot all the way up north uh, for the best showing, I would honestly say, uh, because you don't want to get to be blocked by the, uh, the, like, the resident services. So what I did is I grabbed the lawn chair right over here at the very tip top of my island, sit down in it, and then just watch the fireworks. It's actually kind of calming, and it's kind of fun seeing your own custom designs come to life. Anyway, that's all the information about the actual fireworks. Let's actually talk about all the different items that you can get. Now there's 16 items in total, don't even look at that balloon. I swear every single one of these tutorial videos there's always an obligatory balloon, don't even look at it. All right, next up is going to show you guys all the different items. Now you may be wondering, I'll give you guys a quick run through over here. These are all the items right over here. This is what they look like. You have five different color balloons, you got four different handheld items that are accessories, you've got some headwear, four different ones, and you have three different fireworks. Now, the way that you're going to get a majority of these is really going to Crazy Red over here. Sure, he's not crazy, he's just red. So don't you dare call him crazy. Anyway, so 500 bells a ticket, which is really easy, and then you just buy them. And then you can just buy these infinitely. There's nothing crazy about this, you just go in, you're going to get oh number one through 12, I got number four, it's gonna be the bubble blower. Every single one of the numbers, that you get in this entire game equate to one item a piece. It's really interesting. Uh, we took a note of all that. 
Um, number one is pretty much, oh wow, I got another number four right here. So that's pretty cool, another bubble blower. Number one's gonna be red sparkler. Uh, we got the blue sparkler for number two. Number three is the fountain firework. Number four is the bubble blower. We got number five, the Uchiwa fan. We got the number six is the pinwheel. Number seven, tweeter. Number eight, blue balloon. Number nine, red balloon. Number 10, yellow balloon. Number 11, green balloon. Number 12, pink balloon. So there's 12 different ones. You keep on paying and then you're eventually gonna get them all and you'll get doubles. So just spend your money. It's 500 bells. You make more than that just by sleeping. Uh, anyway, so now that you have those, you have a majority of the items, but what about all the different bobbers? As you guys know, Isabel gave me the bulb bobber over here. Now the bulb bobber looks super cute. I love it. It uh, kind of reminds me of like alien antenna. So you can see that over there. It looks, looks really great. Uh, just kind of bob around over here it has some little springs on it now There's a couple different bobbers Isabel over here is wearing the star bobber But there's a couple more so you may be wondering how do you get them? Well, the only way to get them is to talk to Isabel the first time that you start up after 7 p.m But if you guys want to go through and have an easier way of doing it You can go over to call residents and calling residents is going to be super easy because if you have another resident on your town Such as Jess or subscribe for example you can head on over here and then just call them on board. And Isabel will give a specific bobber to a resident one time per Sunday. It's as simple as that, man. It's as simple as that. So yeah, it, it's super easy to do. You just kind of go through the motions. If you guys don't have an alt let, that is living on your island, I would suggest doing so. Maybe tuck their little tent all the way in the corner of your island so you don't have to worry about it. But if you guys are traditional players, it'll be a lot harder for you guys to get all of these items um especially if you're only doing the wow look at everyone's here they're all here anyway so i'm gonna choose uh jess right over here i'm gonna press slsr and then um subscribe i i guess we have all three of them i didn't realize that you can grab all three of these guys i guess i'll grab my joy con here <laughs> that makes it so much easier okay well great so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake for Abdallah. Uh, I'm gonna go over to subscribe. Subscribe's gonna go over here. We're gonna go talk to Isabel. And then Isabel's gonna give me an item, which is going to be exactly this. You'll shine as bright. And now I got a heart bobber, look at that. So now what I can do if I really wanted to, I could wear the heart bobber or I could just drop it on the ground because I'm gonna give it to Abdallah anyway. So I'm gonna shake over here. We're gonna switch over. We're gonna grab Jess's controller. Of course, if you have enough controller, feel, feel free to do so. Glad you made it, Jess. Here's a little something for everyone as a part of the event. And then as you guys can see over here, we now have the bulb popper, bobber, little thing. All right, so we got the bulb. I'm gonna come over here, we're gonna drop that. And then we're done. I'm going to shake over here for Abdallah. Uh, shaky, shaky. We're gonna go over here, swap leader. And then I'm gonna click on end session. And we are all set, end session. It's as simple as that. All right. So that's one of the reasons why you want to go through and grab another couple of villagers in your town. Go for it, especially if you're a traditional player. Uh, because, you know, there's not too many opportunities for you to get this, so you might as well max out on it. The specific bobbers are going to be random every time. As you can see, we got two of the same ones, and that's your luck. It's 25% chance. There's only four of them, so good luck with that. All right, so now you guys may be wondering, hey, when do the fireworks show up? It's going to be every Sunday in August. So keep that in mind. And here we go, I've got my extra ones over here. So now I've got a bulb uh, bobber and then bopper and we've got uh, the heart popper, bopper. Dude, bobber, bopper, it's such a word. You guys know what I mean every single time. Anyway, so here we go, this is the heart bopper. Uh, this one is the star bopper. And then we've got a whole bunch of other stuff here. So these are the balloons. Balloons look really great. You can actually hold on to the balloons. And I think I have some balloons for you guys. Yes, I will hold on to a balloon right here. It's a yellow balloon. You can hold the balloon and then you can shake it like this. Whee! So that's actually kind of cute. You can yank on it. You could do all that stuff. There's actually a fun little Easter egg with balloons too. Is uh, if you're holding on to a balloon and let's say you trip, which tripping is confirmed in the game if you have a King Tut mask. Tutorial on that later. So here we go, Whoa, you can drop and lose the balloon. And the balloon is permanently lost to the ether, it's gone, it's out of here. So that's sad, it's out of your inventory. I got a pink balloon over here, I'm gonna hold it. If you're holding the King Tut mask and you trip, the balloon. Maybe someday it'll come back bearing a gift in the future, I don't know. 
<laughs> so that's actually a really fun Easter egg. If you have the King Tut mask, which uh, forces tripping. So we're going to wear the goatee again. And I'm going to put on my crown. All right. So that's interesting with all the boppers. Um, so those are the balloons. Those are the colors of balloons. All right. Let's take a look at all these handheld items here. And we'll go over them one by one. These are all four of them. So right here is the pinwheel. So you can see the pinwheel. If I can zoom in over here, this is the pinwheel. I'll turn the guide off, new camera controls. Now you can actually blow into it. Look at that. You can press the A button and blow into it. Now when the pinwheel is actually on the ground, it takes the programming of the actual wind and continuously spins. So it's a really windy day. It'll spin very fast, which is very fun. I like that. So anyway, you can blow on the pinwheel. That's really fun. Okay, so there's the pinwheel. I'll show you guys the bubble blower. Now the bubble blower is actually a consumable item in this game. You can't do infinite bubbles. So I'm going to zoom in over here and then you can press the A button and then you'll be able to blow 10 times. I only have 10 quantity of them. So you can see that over there. You're going to blow some bubbles out here and that's pretty much it. The bad thing about it is that, you know, it is consumable. So you can't just be blowing bubbles all the entire time. And the bubbles really don't linger as much as I would have hoped them to be. But either way, that's fine. Whatever. That's the bubbles. So I've used six of them and I only have four left. Uh, next up is going to be the tweeter. Makes a comeback from Animal Crossing New Leaf. If you guys remember in Animal Crossing New Leaf, there was a whole bunch of out of bounds glitches that you can do with the tweeter. And I myself have some old videos. Definitely look at them uh, for Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's more about like blowing the tweeter and then like someone pushing you into like a house and you're like on top of the house. It's really weird. I don't think it translates in this game, but this is fun. Anyway, so that's the tweeter. Very simple. You can see that over there. You just blow into it and you're done. So easy. All right. And then the last but not least is going to be the uh, the Uchua fan. Uh, this thing, you just blow on yourself, right? Just cool yourself down with a fan, just like this. Ah, yes. Feels good. It feels very, very warm out with these fireworks. All right, so that's that. Uh, these are the little bobbers. We've seen them before. The only one that I didn't show you is probably this one here, which is called the uh, flower bopper. Oh my gosh, I can't even say the word bobber, bopper tonight. So bopper. So anyway, you can see that over there. I like the flower one. I think it's neon blue. So I think that that's actually one of my favorites. So I'm going to wear that one right now. All right, now there's only three working fireworks in the game. You have a red sprinkler which is right over here. If you grab or sparkler, oh my gosh, they're not sprinklers, they're sparklers. Forgive me. Uh, so anyway, we're going to grab it. I'm going to hold it over here. It's a handheld item, just like any of the, um, you know, tools or anything like that. And then when you have it, you can press the A button to light it. And then when you press the A button uh, again, you'll be able to do a figure eight. And it's only there for a couple of seconds. And you can see over here, it ends in red, which is really fun. So you can kind of just hold it over here and then you're done. And what happens is it's a consumable item, just like the bubbles. So you can use your red sparklers accordingly. Now we're going to pick up the blue sparklers and we're going to use those as well. It's the exact same thing. Press and hold. And then once you're ready, you press the A button and then you can blow, uh, you can light it and it's blue. You can see that over here. Yeah. So you can kind of hold it over here. You can't really move while you're doing it. So keep that in mind. All you can do is just do figure eights as you can see. So if you're doing like some sort of ceremony, it's it literally lasts like two seconds long. So that's unfortunate. And again, it's a consumable item. You can use all of them. All right. Last but not least is going to be the fountain firework. You guys can see this over here. There's a fountain firework. We'll be able to put this down. Uh, you drop it on the ground. And then once you're ready, you come up to it and you press the A button in order to light it. It's as simple as that. You light it and then uh, you're ready to go. And then this thing is going to totally burn your eyebrows off. So there we go. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the firework. And just like that, it's done and gone. So that was your firework. Just as short. Just as short. So now what happens is that it gives you an item called a used fountain firework. And it's actually a piece of trash. It's classified as trash. If you want to give it to a villager and get negative friendship points, you can do so. If you want to leave it outside and allow flies to congregate around there, you can also do so. But of course, like all good Samaritans and their fireworks, whenever you're done with them, you don't just walk away and leave them on the ground. Yo mama raise you right. So throw away all your used fireworks inside the bins appropriately. Done and dusted. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. We showcased all of the items. We showed you guys how to access the update. Um, as far as when the fireworks show up, it's pretty much every Sunday in August. So if you guys are watching in 2020, that's going to be August 2nd, August 9th, August 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. We lucked out, and the calendar gave us five weekends of doing this, which is super cool. Of course, if you guys are watching this in the future, individual results may vary with different calendars and just how the calendar system works. But anyway, every Sunday in August, Northern and Southern Hemisphere, you're all set and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. It's about two in the morning, and I hope that you guys have a great time playing with all these fireworks when it shows up this upcoming Sunday and or every Sunday in August. Thanks for being here. All right, if you guys enjoyed the tutorial, be sure to smash that like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, subscribe for even more. I'd love to have you guys on board. We're going to hit these tutorials super hard throughout this next week. I love it if you guys would continue supporting the content. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.